Welcome back to the Sun Newsroom and a look ahead at what we're working on for your Sunday Sun National Entertainment Editor Kevin Williamson. Williamson. I guess that means the big movie of the holiday season, correct? That's right. It's uh, The Hobbit. It's Peter Jackson's prequel to his Oscar-winning Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, he's back behind the camera and he's brought a lot of uh, the actors from the uh, uh, earlier trilogy with him. Okay, I know nothing about this movie. I should, um, but maybe you can kind of give me a primer on um, what to expect. Well, basically, this is the prequel to The Lord of the Rings, so uh, this takes place a few decades before it. It kind of explains how uh, Bilbo Baggins first uh, came in possession of uh, the ring. Uh, we meet Gollum for the first time. There's a dragon uh, and an adventure. Okay, uh, I'm always in for a dragon. If a movie has a dragon, it's always a good one. I'm just saying that. Okay, Kevin, thanks a lot. Okay, let's go to the uh, Lord of the Rings, to the Lord of the Rink. Steve Simmons, uh, sports, what's happening on Sunday? Thanks, Thane, although I could do without the pun. But you know, with the NHL maybe close to coming back, we're still hopeful there's going to be a hockey season. What we address this weekend in the Sun is the state of goaltenders coming back for a hockey season, if there's a hockey season. And, and it's different than the players who've gone to Europe and play, because Goalies haven't played that much, and they put so much pressure on their groin, so much pressure on their knees, that are they going to be able to come back with a short camp and play at the same level they've played before? And that's what we'll explore in the weekend sun. There'll be the usual coverage of the NFL, the usual coverage of baseball, and the winter meetings coming to conclusion. But the hockey story with goaltenders, the big story in this weekend's Toronto Sun. Thanks, Steve. Okay, let's check in with Ted Rath, QMI Agency Editor. Ted, what's cooking? What's in the pot for Sunday? Uh, well, right now, Royal Babies are uh, all the rage. Uh, you know, it started earlier this week, and it's just going to go right through to the weekend. We've got Christina Blizzard, uh, who loves all things Royals, and she's going to be weighing in on uh, her thoughts and, 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 and who she wants is, what she wants as baby names. Uh, when, I, when I said what's in the pot, I thought you'd take that. I thought that would be the, uh, <laughs> the great hook, cuz? Uh, right, so also we have pot, and uh, this is your feature that uh, was uh, online earlier this week. It's going to hit the papers today, it's going to roll right through to Sunday, and this is about uh, the legalization of pot in the United States, or in a couple of the states, and, and uh, how its uh, ramifications are in Canada, uh, whether we're ready to take that sort of step forward, or, or if we're, we're still uh, under the current uh, politics, uh, you know, whether we're holding back a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Despite the stance of Ottawa, despite the stance of the federal government that say this is not even in discussion, we are not decriminalizing, not making this legal. Uh, I think what, we, what we've seen happen in Washington State and what we've seen happen in Colorado has really emboldened activists here to think, you know what, they can make that leap into the mainstream voters' mind to, to actually push for that. So you also mentioned, uh, you know, it appeared earlier this week online and it's starting today and rolls right through to the weekend. You know, we've got to push our online content as well. Um, you know, it's well worth checking out and well worth paying for. So the bottom line, whether it is online or whether it's in the paper, we're writing it for you.